Here is a statistic that you might find hard to believe. Today, today, 40.3 million people are in slavery. Yes, I said the word slavery. And these slaves are hiding in plain sight. They're just falling between the cracks. They're victims of human trafficking. So today we are going to tell you about a way that you can help raise awareness to this modern day slavery by filling in those cracks. With us this afternoon is Beth Ann Langro. Beth Ann is the Chief Executive Officer of For All Seasons in Easton. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you all for having me today. So uh, the topic of human trafficking, do you find that people are surprised that this is so prevalent these days? I think it's one of the topics that people are surprised it's happening in the areas that we live. It's something that folks have come to understand to be a global issue, but there's a little bit of surprise in folks when people hear that human trafficking is happening right here on the Eastern Shore and across Maryland. So what do people need to look out for? I mean, how uh, can we be a part of determining uh, if it's happening in our neighborhood? Yeah, so it's really important that folks understand what human trafficking entails, and it is the use of um, recruiting and harboring and transporting and providing um, space for people to be essentially taken out of their normal habitat and their environment through force or coercion. And so looking to see if someone is unaware of their surroundings, if there is a, a large age gap between um, you know, a, a man and a young child, and if that person is seeming disoriented to their surroundings, if they are not appearing to have good quality clothing on and just, you know, it's sort of that gut reaction that when you see a situation where you think that something might be wrong, it's always good to ask the question. More times than not, our young children and the women um, and men are also trafficked as well, are, are completely unfamiliar with their surroundings and they have lost their sense of being a part of a community because of the way that they have been removed. And they have be in, in become enslaved with the person who is the trafficker and they are within a scope of every move that they make is directed by that trafficker. From, from what you're telling us, this sounds like something that could happen to our, our family, our friends. Is there something yeah. we can tell them to help avoid becoming a victim? You know, it's always good to make sure that um, people know that there are options in the community if someone is facing financial crisis or if someone is addicted to drugs we might see someone who makes a choice different than what they normally would be making especially when it comes to the offer there typically there is the offer for you know finances to be taken care of or housing to be provided. And if someone is facing a crisis, and especially as we move through COVID and we know that so many people are facing a different type of crisis right now, being able to let people know about resources in the community that don't include giving up the visa or don't include um, day laboring and the types of jobs that folks are put into through trafficking where they might be sold for sex. There may be labor trafficking that's happening where someone is is enslaved in a home or childcare. And we really want to make sure that people understand the resources. If people are struggling financially, there is ways that we can help within the community and established organizations. So one way we can help is, as you mentioned, awareness. And that is where the Red Sand Project comes in. What is that? Yeah, so we're really excited about the Red Sand Project. You know, programming has been really different over this last year. And so where we typically would have presentations and community involvement within our human trafficking program in large volumes, the Red Sand Project is a project that we are participating and sponsoring along with the Eastern Shore Human Trafficking Task Force. And we will be offering the opportunity for folks to participate virtually 
everyone um, that would like to participate can come to For All Seasons and pick up a small packet of red sand. And the idea is that we will have a designated time and be using our social media to be able to show folks who are pouring sand into the cracks of the sidewalk and into the cracks of driveways, wherever you can make that display, because it's a gentle reminder and a really great reminder that the human trafficking population tends to fall through the cracks. And so this is our way of bringing awareness with the Eastern Shore Human Trafficking Task Force to a problem that may seem as though it's not happening in our community, but in fact, there are women, men, and children being trafficked right here on the Eastern Shore and across the state of Maryland and Delaware. And we really want people to understand that this continues to be an issue and is an issue that's on the rise. So Beth Ann, somebody is in, in those circumstances right now who is watching you and listening to what you say, what would you tell them right now? We have a hotline that runs 24 hours a day at our agency. There's also a human trafficking hotline. Pick up the phone. You can call your local law enforcement. Um, reach out to any of the agencies. Our hotline is 410-829-6143, and that is for our Spanish-speaking population. It's also a texting line that you can call, or the English hotline is 410-820-5600. And you know, the, any number of the hotlines across the Eastern Shore can connect you to services for the rape crisis centers. We are one of 17 rape crisis centers across the state of Maryland, and we have a wonderful agency called Polaris that works with all of our entities to be able to ensure that we can serve the human trafficking needs of the community. And as for the red sand, how do we get our hands on that? So um, our office is in, located in Easton, and if folks want to reach out to my team, they can um, either go through our Facebook page or call our 410-822-1018 number, and my team will work to get the red sand to you. And then what we're asking folks to do is just share with us your pictures and social media and you know tag a little message in support for the community, but really start to bring a light to the issue of human trafficking through the Red Sand Project. We'll, of course, have all that information with links on DelmarvaLife.com. Beth Ann Langrell, CEO of For All Seasons, thanks for talking to us this afternoon. Thank you so much for bringing attention to such an important issue.